And first up, we're starting with the Druid. Derp. Starting with strengths, the Druid has a lot of strong AoE damage options with skills like Hurricane, Pulverize, and Tornado being some of the strongest abilities the Druid has. Druid is also one of the tankiest classes in the game with tons of damage reduction options such as Cyclone Armor, which reduces non-physical damage by up to 40%, Absorb what the Earth fuck? and Bulwark, which absorbs 10% of your base life and damage, and upgrades to provide Fortify, which reduces all damage you take for a set amount of damage and even a roar which reduces all damage done by enemies by 50 percent for four seconds around you called debilitating roar oh my Druids god also have self heals to go along with their tankiness one of which is called blood howl which restores 20 percent of your life instantly on use now when it comes to weaknesses druid has the worst mobility out of all <laughs> classes Fuck. i'm sure that comes as a shock to many diablo 2 players accustomed to the increased move speed of werewolf but druid can only get increased move speed from werewolf form by putting points into digitigrade gate which increases move speed by 12 percent after three points are put in it and after they put one point into the prerequisite skill predatory instinct so it's a four skill point investment just to move 12 percent faster while in a werewolf form which only persists while using werewolf abilities in a few seconds after so you can get a little bit of move speed if you choose to use werewolf abilities but these actually fall off at the end game which we'll talk about later now other than Digitigrade Gate, Druid only has Trample, which is a short frontal AoE ability which charges them forward along with their Evade that all other classes have. So compared to a class like the Rogue, which has the highest mobility, Druid can feel a little slower and clunky. Now, moving on to some skills. Druids Fuck. have six skill groups. Basic, Spirit, Defensive, Wrath, Companion, So and how many defensive. spells do you get to Each use at a time? ...is unlocked after a certain level is reached. I guess, For example, it looks like six. I'm looking at the bottom left. Level three. Defensive skills are unlocked at level seven. Companion skills are unlocked at level... You three. have your left click, right click, and then four and skills, right? ...unlocked at level 24. So you will be able to test out different ultimate abilities in the upcoming open beta. The skill unlock tiers are important to note because you can't just start as a summoner druid, for example. You can only start choosing summoning skills at level 12, which is different from Diablo 2. Game looks like shit. Choose to get a raven for Maybe it's just the video. The start. And if you're enjoying the video, make the druid smile by clicking like in supply of the four great animal spirits, snake, eagle, wolf, and deer. And depending on which spirit you choose, it will empower you in a different way. Each spirit has a number of different ways it can buff you with a... I don't know, it just seems so grayed out. Where's the color? I'm not asking for rainbows, but like, the I don't know. The druid is a savage shapeshifter. Fluidly transforming. Maybe that's what they're going for. And one bonus from all four remaining Damn. spirit animals. Now, what this shouts to me is the specific phrase they used, all four spirit animals in Skosglin. This makes me think that there will be different spirit animals depending on the zone that you're in. They want all darker. Different I guess. Okay. So, like I said, this will not be available during the open beta, but it's good to have confirmation as to at least what one of kind the classes Kind of cool and spoopy, I guess. I don't know. Be. The other one we know of. All right, stop talking. Damn it. Diablo, or Druid and Diablo 4 first looked 10 days ago. Five days ago. Three hours ago. You know, I'm going to keep with this. This guy's video seems like he knows what's up. I'm going to keep listening. These actually fall off at the end game with short wolf and deer. And depending on which spirit you choose, it will empower you in a different way. Each spirit has a number of different ways it can buff you with a number of boons to choose from, but you can only select one from each spirit. Some of the boons include prickle skin, which gives you thorns, gift of the stag, which increases your maximum spirit. There's swooping attacks, which increase your attack speed, avian wrath, which increases your critical strike damage, iron feather which increases maximum health there's masochistic which gives your critical strikes with shape-shifting skills a heal which will heal you for three percent of your maximum life that seems really strong lucky so hit wait what was that what did that say for three percent of your maximum dealing damage is a 15 percent chance to restore 10 spirit okay life. that seems really strong obsidian slam earth skills have up to a 15 percent chance to stun enemies <clears throat> for a number of seconds and if they're already stunned and is not a boss they overpower the target instead ui is dog There's shit i just don't think it's leader. done critical strikes have a 20 percent chance to reset the cooldown on your companion skills maybe it is Calamity, i don't know extend the duration of ultimate skills by 25 percent and so on and what's cool about these boons so are people excited for your diablo 4 because i am 
Spirit I'm looking at my chat and some people just are pissed. To like, I'm trying to be really optimistic about this because I want to love this game. Some of y'all seem like you just want to hate it. And you might be right. It may suck. Um, I just really don't want it to. Maybe it's like the Diablo Immortal crowd is just like... The best spirit animal to align with will change. And that shit's living rent free for God knows how long. The druid like zone and outside of the scope of the Diablo 4 beta, taking place exclusively in Fractured Peaks. So you won't be able maybe to Path of Exile fans. Maybe they're right. Maybe this game's gonna blow. I just don't want it to. For it. Now, like, I really want to fucking and it seems very, very powerful, grind Diablo out pretty hard have and have a good time with it. There. Also, druids are going to have. I want to love it. I just think it's going to be good. I mean, that's most games, but health with a reduced effect on players and bosses, which is certainly going to be POE too. Powerful. Other than that, is next also seem to be one game of the, of the year. Oh yeah, they are making a Path of Exile too. About in one of their strengths, Path of Exile. I tried to play it. That shit is. Right, moving on to I mean, it's clearly a good game. It has a lot to it, but something about the gems was so fucking hard for my brain to fucking wrap around. Which you like gemming and, and gaining and spells through gems, she was weird. Summoner, which it's also just wolves, me. Ravens and vine creeper, and shapeshifter, which uses the werewolf and werebear abilities. That's a me problem. When it comes to end game, the best end game builds are number one, tornado druid. There's a legendary item that makes your tornado actually seek out enemies instead of random wandering, right? Which makes it much, much more efficient. If you look at the skill tooltip, you can see that tornado does a massive amount of damage on top of that there's a skill upgrade called enhanced tornado which allows you to have a 20 percent chance to spawn an additional tornado so oh, they're fuck. really coming out right you just cast them like crazy there's also a capstone skill which gives you a chance to restore all of your spirit when you damage players with an earth skill which gives tornado druids incredible clearing ability just constantly casting tornado and it truly ranks them as one of the top end game druid builds coming in at number two is pulverize werebear now pulverize does half the damage of tornado but it has a much bigger aoe and it can be buffed to deal 20 percent bonus damage if hitting two or more enemies now this makes it an incredibly strong ability and there's also a capstone skill which grants 20 percent increased damage while in werebear form well healthy werebear which is defined as having 80 percent life or more now combine that with the iron feather and masochistic spirit boons and werebear are super tanky they have tons of self-sustain tons of self-healing and are viable at the highest end so game fuck nightmare. sounds like you go either Dungeons. tornado build or really, really fucking there. Now, those two slightly are shittier like end game build balanced druid or feral druid <laughs> i don't know how else to say the third common build that many players tried was summons and was unfortunately lacking and the reasons for that is because Number one, pets don't deal enough damage on their own. They lack strong AOE abilities. They don't have enough HP to survive when monsters get that strong in the end game. And even with uniques specific to summons, which add additional companions, can even turn your wolves into werewolves and give them rabies, which actually does chain poison damage, but it's not really strong enough. And a unique that gives your wolves or werewolves added lightning damage, as well as a legendary that increases your damage the more active summons you have. Still, Damn. after all of that, summon druid was not viable in the hardest end game nightmare dungeons some more issues with the build include the ai isn't great your minions often wander off even if there's enemies nearby and the activated ability to have them focus a target has too long of a cooldown to keep them on summon track. suck so as of the closed beta test Pulverize, Werebear, and Tornado Druid are the two main builds for the endgame for Druid that are able to clear the highest tiered Nightmare Dungeons. And honestly, I'm hoping this changes because I'd like to see a wider build diversity at the endgame. Well, I don't understand because, like, this guy's talking about endgame. How the fuck did he play endgame? Just these two builds being viable, then everyone is going to inevitably go these two builds. Now, keep in mind, though, that this is all from data based on the closed beta test and information online and there will likely be changes before the final game releases all right that's all i have for druid for you today if you diablo 3 took like 20 hours to get to end game that's fair interesting interesting hmm fuck maybe i don't play druid i don't know <laughs>